G'day guys, how are you going? And welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how you can connect to an SQL server over the internet without opening any ports up. So this can come really, really handy if you're, you know, one of those people that their ISP have actually, you know, closed the ports off and if you wanted to open the ports, you've got to pay extra money or they're just simply not going to do it. So this is very, very helpful for those situations. Um, now, do bear in mind that if you have not seen my previous video on how to connect to an SQL server, do follow the steps of, you know, um, adding exceptions to the firewall, configuring it within SQL Studio Management, you know, definitely do those things before you get started and then follow this video to sort of take it from there. So let's begin. So the very first thing we need to do is we need to go to Google. We're going to download Himachi. So just click on download now and install it. Once you've installed it, it's going to look something like this and it's going to ask you if you want to, you know, purchase their subscription, things like that. We don't necessarily want to do this just yet. Now you guys might turn around and say, well, hey, this isn't, you know, exactly what I signed up for um, you know I was hoping to be able to you know access my SQL server without using port forwarding but I did want to have to install you know other pieces of software unfortunately um, this is the best way that I've found it um, I was living in Turkey for you know a little while and my ISP actually had the ports blocked as well and this was the best solution that I could find at the time um, in order to get my SQL server to work over the internet um, you can use other methods, but they do cost a lot of money. So this was the one that I found that was free to a point. I believe you can connect up to five or six devices um, to a network for free before you need to start paying anything. Um, but you know, for five devices to connect to an SQL server over the net, I mean, you know, it's it's really better than nothing. So give it a chance. You might like it. And um, yeah, so let's begin. So let's create a new network. It's going to ask your network ID. Now this, I believe, needs to be unique. Um, and not already existing from somebody else. So I'm just going to call it SQL Server 001. Put in your password. Put in your password again. And press create. Okay, so now that we've got our Himachi server set up, what you need to do on your other computer that you want to connect to is you need to also install Himachi. Go to network and then click on join existing network. Type in the network ID, which in this case is just SQL Server 001, and then type in the password. Leave it blank if it's unknown, I suppose, um, and then you click join, obviously. From there, within your program, is this IP address here. We want to copy the IP v v4. Then we can go to Visual Studio, and now we can put in the IP address to our server, just in there like that. So now if I press F5, you can see now that the network is open. It was able to connect to it. If I just take away the zero at the end of it and now try to connect and as you can see there it was unable to connect to the SQL server the server was not found or inaccessible so yeah so let's now put the zero back there press F5 and as you can see we're able to connect so there you go guys I really hope you enjoyed this video um, like I said this was the best way that I could find to connect to an SQL server over the internet without opening up any ports now you do get you know five or six um, free people that can join the network so to speak without having to add a subscription so if you do have more users um, you know you may want to look at getting a subscription for it or perhaps just you know giving putting the pressure on your ISP I'm not really sure um, do whatever suits your needs and yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did like it just subscribe thumb the videos up and I'll see you in the next one bye bye